What's up, people? What's up? Um, I know I said in my last video that I'd head one more at the other place. Well, guess what? Ain't no more. I didn't, I didn't make it. I didn't make it in time. Didn't do the thing. So, anywho's, uh, here we got a carrier heat exchanger. I put myself on a timer. All right. Uh, I don't think I hit my time. I cannot remember. It's been some minutes since I made this one. If I didn't make it, look, I got pretty dang close, all right? Anyway, carrier heat exchangers, easiest ones in the world to replace. If you can think of an easier one to replace, put it in the thing down there. Let me know. I might I might agree and or disagree. I don't know. It's an opinion anyway, right? Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Learn a little something, something. And um, until next time. Up on a roof in Irving, Texas. Got Plumber Calvin here with us. So several problems with these units. One of the which uh, is a heat exchanger. That's what we're gonna do today. And uh, it's a carrier. So those are easy, people. Let me put me on a timer and see if I can get this thing done. My goal, 45 minutes. Now, your boy done forgot his dang tools. Look, I'm in the middle of moving, okay? I'm in the middle of moving. I don't even know which house they're at. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Don't have a clue. Um, but, okay, anytime I do a heat exchanger, always replace the safeties. Why? Because why not? Like, they're like 20 bucks. There's no reason. If someone's going to spend this much money on a heat exchanger, put the new safeties in. It's, it's good for you. It's healthy. I also got an igniter flame sensor here. We're going to do that too. As long as it fits. So today I'm going to be using some Milwaukee. Because, uh, what are you, what are you trying to do when you put that pan? One second. Yep. Because that's what I got. You know, don't have an option. All right. I'm going to use the Milwaukee tools today. It's okay. They're not bad. Okay. If I had a, a second choice, Milwaukee would be my second choice. So no yellow, no black and yellow debuffs today. Um, I'll get back with you when I get this thing. We can start our timer, see how it works. Hmm? All right. People, it is, if I can get my watch to work, 2.19, okay? 2.19 is go time. Look how many holes are in this thing. Okay, wallered out up and down all the holes. So I'm gonna mark the ones that actually work because somebody already put something in them. And that way we'll know whenever we put it back together, which holes will actually work. So, cool, let's do it. Start the time, 219. You know, and I gotta be done uh, in a decent time because I got things to do this afternoon. All right, people, I got stuff. I got, that's not even coming. That's okay. That means it's not hooked to anything. And all right, should probably replace on this door. That's what we probably should do. And I need three eighths bit for this other one. I've done this before. If y'all look back in my history, there's a, a heat exchanger battle. We had six heat exchangers to replace on a roof. It was me and two other guys. And I basically offered them money if they could beat me in replacing the heat exchanger. And yeah, nobody beat your boy. We finished like an hour before they did. Not trying to brag too much, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Biggest thing with heat exchangers, lots of screws. Lots and lots of screws. So we're gonna put the old Milwaukee to the test today and do a lot of screw zipping. And when I get this open, I'll show you where the hole is in this here heat exchanger. Okay, put those right there. We know where they go to this panel. 
Hip. Okay, there's that side. Upright. Maybe I'm gonna wait until we get the thing off to show you where the hole is in the heat exchanger and I need a wrench. Wonder if he's got a wrench over here in his tool bag. Sure does. Right, y'all. You're gonna loosen this bracket. The back side is really hard to get off and on. But if that's my worst problem, well, I think we're gonna be all right, you know? So I'm not gonna take it all the way off. I'm just gonna loosen it. Uh, matter of fact, I could take it all the way off. See if I can reach this other one back here. Well, you know what? Before you start digging around inside a unit, why don't you turn the power off to it? Be smart. Don't be an idiot like me. Okay? I stick my head in there. My shirt gets caught in this blower when it turns on. We got big problems. And I'll have lots of views. Because I probably won't make it very long. I'm probably lose a limb or something. I am going to take this one all the way off. So I don't have to dig back there again. Okay, now we need this panel off. Y'all. Another 3 8 Okay, I kept it handy just for that. And another 3 8 well, Let me mark these. We pro promise you it'll save you time. That's what that's why these so many holes wallered out, because they didn't know which ones were working and which ones were not working. So they just start shooting them in every hole that they could find until one of them grabs. Those two are three eighths. Next one's a five sixteenths. Okay, now this panel's got to come off so I can expose the burner compartment. Ugh, hit. All right, now we got to take out this slide. It's only got one screw in it. And it should just slide right out like so and then it reveals our burner okay um all these screws right here you don't have to take every single one of them out we do have to pull off the uh inducer we have a new gasket for that it comes in the kit if you need it uh if you don't need the new kit or the new gasket don't <laughs> we'll stick it on there you know this induced motor looks like it's been replaced at some point it's definitely not original i wouldn't say getting in there is not going to be easy i wonder if i can use a good old wrench on that one if i had my tools i have a long extension that would work out perfectly but guess what i don't have them so that's not going to happen so that's great that's great next thing i'm going to do then is i'm going to pull off these burners and move them back so i can give myself a little bit more room oh an extension would be awesome right now all right don't come all the way there we go pull this back give myself some space it'll go as back as this hose will let me well as back as this maybe I should cut that off and I don't have my dikes either you know you don't realize what you use but I got a plenty of stuff in the pocket I don't really like the fact that they zip tie them to the burner manifold anyway. So, we'll just slice that right off. Give us some space there. Now let's see if we can fit our impact. Yes, buddy. There we go. How far in this thing are we? I'm not even 10 minutes in yet. And we are much closer than you think to having this one out. And all the screws, people, 
I can I definitely know this has been replaced because it's got different different screws in it and that and that gasket looks very new as a matter of fact if it doesn't if it doesn't take any kind of damage I'm just gonna put it on just like it is so all that aside I'm gonna start zipping screws out of the support bracket here it's gonna it's gonna come off in two pieces so just take them all out you know which ones do I take out Matthew all of them that's which ones now it won't fit that's great there's probably some behind it that one wasn't even hooked on to anything super great these bottom ones are pretty important well they're all pretty important like I said all the screws people so many screws <laughs> in a heat exchanger I don't think I'm gonna be able to get those out. I have to get these out somehow. I might have to use a flathead and bend the thing down here so I can get my impact on it. So I gotta be able to get them out somehow. Let's see which ones I can get. That one will come out. That one's good. Top ones are out. The bottom ones are a little rough. They've been sitting in wetness. Where you go, Milwaukee. All right. So at this point, Do I have to take this panel? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I, I gotta take this panel off. Why don't y'all say something? Make me look all stupid. <clears throat> if y'all can hear, I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but there's a unit right down the way there that is just it is squeaking like a mug so we're gonna tighten on that belt later on as soon as i'm done with this there we go <laughs> oh that's great man that makes me so happy All right, where are we at? I gotta get this guy out. There he is. Okay. So as far as the actual heat exchanger itself, there's probably nothing holding it on at all. Yep. Can't reach that way, Matthew. Come on. Hey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's ripe. That's some ripe goodness right there. Where are we at on this? That's just completely rusted out. Man. There's not even any, it doesn't even grabbing anything. 100% rusted out. All right, I don't think there's any more screws to remove. So, let's 
get the support bracket off. I like to take all this stuff out in one piece, but um, that's not going to be happening today. Why am I confused about this? There's my flathead. All right, we are 13 minutes in. Okay, yeah, she's loose, she's loose. We're good. I'm gonna break this right here. Try and save as much of this material as I can. That's about how much I'm gonna be able to save. That's great. That's cool, you know, whatever. What is holding you on? Rust? I'm at a loss right now. Oh my goodness. This thing is an absolute disaster. Wow. All right. Now we'll take this bracket out. This is the only thing that was holding it up. And should be able to just wiggle her out. All right. It almost seems like I have a screw. Nope, no more screw. She's coming out. Okay. Super, super duper awesome. Got her out. Make sure they match up. And they do. And, oh, the amount of rust. Super duper rusty. So, when you're checking heat exchangers for holes, you use your um, screwdriver and run it up and down the unit, or the uh, heat exchanger, and wherever your screwdriver falls in. There we go. I'm starting to second guess myself, people. I was like, dude, did I mess up? No. This whole thing right here. Like, um, we're not supposed to be able to do that, okay? Yeah, it just rotted out once. That's probably just a weak spot, because this heat exchanger does not look old at all. But, so, what I like to do is get the new one and the old one, put them side by side, and this new one has some bent up sides on it which is fine we can just bend them right back i mean they got there one way didn't they and then i'll take my little pieces and parts and assemble them out here i like to do it front and center because uh i like to get it the same way it was on there to begin with you know where's my other thing time wasting time wasting gaskets this one already has a gasket on it get some screws now six of these screws are already in this new one because they come with um, these attached so those are six that I didn't need to remove the first place but whatevs dog whatever those are already in it what is holding this thing on? Oh, I know what it is. It needs to be pulled outward. Like this. There we go. 
and there we go so these two pieces are already on the new one and uh, I need to put this guy right you now the other one's completely rusted and rotted off 100% sorry it's this one there we go that guy goes right there we'll zip that one in Did I say I was going for 45 minutes? I can't remember. Because now I'm starting to not want to go for 45 minutes. But I gotta keep remembering. You know? I got somewhere to be. So, the kids need me. They need me to not fail. All right, so that piece is on. Remove this label. Okay, let's see if they made it removable. Am I? Can y'all, anyone guess why we would remove this label? Because uh, it'll catch on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll catch on fire. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This is a flame retainer. Where does it go? What's in this? Oh, oh yeah, it does. It goes right here. Like this. It just fits right in there. You see, it's easy. It's super easy. It just slides right in. No, no problem. No dribbles. There we go. Just like that. Just slides right in. No problems. Nothing to see here. Oh, yes, fall right off my thing. Stop. What is wrong? We got stuff shoved up in the magnet. What is that? I don't know what it was, but it's gone. All right. Go, Milwaukee. Get them. Get them, Milwaukee. What does a flame retainer do? Uh, I mean, if I had to guess, I would say that it probably retains the flame. Just guessing. You know, I'm not 100% on that. You no need to give me some quoting, you know. Don't need to, don't need none of that. I just, just a guess. Just a guess. Try and bend some of this metal back. If I don't make it, I'm going to blame it on the metal that wasn't bent right. Where'd that thing, there it is. Okay. Uh. Oh, hit the wrong thing, didn't I? Where's Callan? He's over there building drain lines. Apparently, a bunch of drain lines were broken. You know, I came out to this site and I did an inspection. Okay, and I found quite a few things, which is normal for units this old. But then somebody came behind me and said there was a whole bunch more crap wrong. And uh, it made your boy look pretty freaking stupid. And I don't know how I missed all these other things. Because when I came out here, it was one drain line. When they came out here, it was five drain lines. Uh, we see a problem with that. So when I looked at the drain lines that they proposed were bad and needed to be replaced, it looked like somebody had drilled holes into the top of them. That's right. Who drills holes into a copper drain line? I don't know. I know I didn't drill holes in the copper drain, drain line. I don't know who does, but maybe somebody that's trying to make your boy look bad. So listen, people, this is out for everybody. There is competition out there. 
there are other people that want the money, want the jobs, want the work. And there is a, there is an honest way to make that happen. You just do your job and do it right. And my experience is you'll get the work. But once you start being dishonest, it's going to eventually come back and bite you. And if I have anything to say about it, you know, this is my name. And I take pride in the work that I do. I do. I take great pride in it. And I believe that I do a good job. I am human. I do make mistakes. That does happen. <laughs> Definitely make plenty of mistakes, okay? But everybody does. So, am I saying that I'm perfect and I didn't miss anything? No, I miss things. It's just the, the business, you know? I'm gonna miss stuff. It's just the way it is. Um, did I miss four drain lines? No, no, I sure didn't. I uh, can guarantee you I did not miss four drain lines. I'm about to miss this because it's starting to make me angry. I don't understand why it's not going in the hole. There it is. Got her. Don't worry, people. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. Ow, crap. Well, that probably went straight through the fingers. Straight through the finger skin. Don't be an idiot, okay? Don't do what I just did. Remember, I do it so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty dumb. I'm not going to do it again. I know you're like, oh no, he's going to do it again. No, I make mistakes, but you know, I only make them once. Learn from that. Where's that hole? There it is. This one has the burner burner goes on to the screw that I'm putting in right now so I'm not gonna tighten it all the way if I can even get it in there come on it's a small hole hit the hole dude oh my goodness why is this so hard What's up? What's up, dude? Why you why you being like this? Huh? There you go. Don't tell me. Shoo. Don't tell me, man. Oh, that one's definitely not gonna go in yet. Alright. Let's get it up. Where are we at? 245. <clears throat> All right. We started it at 219. That's 29, 39. We're almost at the 30 minute mark. 45 minutes ain't gonna happen. These screws are not playing friendly. Come on, be nice. Oh. It's just not gonna be nice. Where's the hole? There it is. Get it. There. That's nice and tight. I'm not gonna put the bottom ones in yet because they're gonna go through everything. Make sure they line up and they do. Now, I'm gonna, this is just a little bit warped. I'm not too worried about it because when it goes back together, 
gonna be just fine. Just hitting these holes is not becoming my favorite thing to do right now. I don't even think I can see this one from the other side. Yep, where are you? I can. There we go. There's that one. I ran out of screws. All right, so this is gonna be for the inducer. I'm gonna leave those out. I can put this one in. Put the two on the top here, and then, then we're gonna put it in. I'm just gonna go two more. Two more. I ran out of short ones. Ready to slide this puppy in here. Make sure we put it in the right direction. Yep. This is where all my bent bentedness is gonna is gonna play a role. So I'm gonna try and get a couple of top screws in first. Where's the deal? There it is. Just so it'll be held into place. The bottom ones are gonna come whenever I put the bracket on and lift the rear end up. Then our bottom ones will come into play. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. That is going to be a problem, people. There's one. Yes, I can count to two. But that's as far as I can count. So, one. We just start over, you know? Get the corner one. Yep. Might as well put them all in the top. The bottom ones are going to be the ones that suck. But they can be done. Can and will. All right, there's that. Now, let's lift the rear end up and put this bracket back on. It can be a little uh, troublesome sometimes because you have to lift and hold while you're putting the screws in. So, this is one of those where I usually don't mind if someone is here, they can surely come over and help. So make it okay. Come on over here. Not exactly sure yet. All right, I got one side. Yep, and it went right back out. Just need a couple threads on it. Okay, the other side is going to be the hard part. But typically, what I would do is do the other side first, so it's threaded in. So I'm trying to teach you how to do this by yourself. So let's do it like that. And I would also have this panel off and reaching in from the back. So that's how you would do it by yourself. Hey, your boy probably ain't gonna do it like that, okay? Just, just saying. Um, 
hitting the hole is going to be hard. I can see it from here. So I got to hit the hole and hold it in place. Which means I got to lift the whole thing up. This is going to be hard. I don't I don't want to do this by myself. I have before. You can see it in the videos, okay? But I'm going to have to bring Cal in on this one. Or maybe I'm not. Let me try to be smart here. What if I was by myself? There. We'll just do that. Huh? Find the hole. Oh, I know y'all can't see anything right now. There it is. All right, I'm up there in the hole. Where's the screw? Oh, I put it on top. What an idiot. I don't want to let it go. Okay, now I got to reach. And put it on there. Look at that, people. Look at that. Huh? How about that? See? So you can do it by yourself. There. I'm going to leave the impact there. No, I'm not, because I need it. Come on, impact. And now we can zip the bottom screws in since the bottom is pushed against the back plate. Hard part is going to be these three, okay? Why is it hard? Well, because you can't see through the deal. And you got to get it through two separate things. It's got to go through the front plate here, through some insulation, and you just got to cross your fingers and hope that you hit the back side of it, you know? Because you can't see nothing. That one actually hit. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Put it in your lunchbox. They're hitting. They are hitting. Awesome. That makes me so happy. Three more on the bottom. Uh, and then I gotta hit one on that side. And then we can move on to putting the inducer back on. Let's just make it hard and do the hardest one first. Oh, well, that was a good one. <sighs> Gust of wind blew my things off the deal. I think it's trying to tell me to replace the safeties now, but I'm not going to listen to it. Okay? Do what I want. All right. We're almost here. bottom corner and she is secure <clears throat> Milwaukee did it good job Milwaukee get the rest of these screws over here and before I put the burner in uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is match up and see if these igniter and flame sensor even match because you want to do it when the burner's out. You don't want to do it if you put it in already. Uh, one thing I've noticed from Carrier is whenever they send the new igniter and flame sensor, they don't match. And they won't fit. So, like, why are we being dumb, huh? But this one looks like it might actually fit.
show will. Let's go ahead and replace on that thing too. We'll take this out from the back side. And it's got a Phillips. Cool. I have to use an actual screwdriver. I don't know how to use Calvin's thing here. What is this? Okay, okay. I see you. And now, this high tech plumbers, I tell you what, man, they make the money for it and stuff like this. Ratcheting screwdriver. y'all could see that if you can't i'm sorry there's just two screws on the side uh on the sides holding it in theoretically i should only have to take out one but i'm gonna have to take them both out which is okay and then you will get to see what this flame sensor looks like what is that oh that's a ground does this new one have a place for a ground the only way an igniter can work is if it's, it has a good solid grin. Where did I put? There it is. There is no place for a ground. That is great. See, this is what I mean by, it. is it gonna match? This one's not going to match. Uh, maybe they're just hoping that it grounds into the ground. I don't know what the damn thing is. I don't know. Oh, I see now. Never mind. It won't need it because this one's plastic. This one's a metal. It's going to automatically ground whenever you put it on there. So, all we need to do is hook this one up and the other one can just hang. It doesn't matter. Cool. That's good news. Good news. To take this off. Okay, there's that one. The old one is plastic base, so it has to have a ground on it. I don't know. I'm going to leave that right there. Like I said, these worry me. And I'm worried. I put this thing in and it shouldn't fire off because it's not, or it'll fire off and then it'll stop because it's not sensing flame. Then what? <clears throat> Calvin, I don't think I like this screwdriver, buddy. I don't think that he cares, but. Was I an idiot? Let's see here. Nope, I'm good. Oh, wow. All the muck. since it is going to be acting as a ground, you want to make sure you get that sucker on there tight. <sighs> I might need to use this. What is that? Probably a number two. Because this one's not grabbing very well. Oh, that one's grabbing good. Yeah, we're good now. Forearm's starting to burn a little bit. So that last heat exchanger battle or that one heat exchanger pedal I did. My dang impact battery died. 
I still had like 50 screws to put in. I went down to the truck, got a new battery, and it was dead. So I wasted all that time doing that for two dead batteries. Learned my lesson, okay? Lesson is, hey, uh, charge your batteries, huh? How about that? It's a good lesson. Especially if you're gonna be battling someone. Okay, did I put the wrong screws in? This is gonna go right here. No, I did not put the wrong screws in. Let's go ahead and get a couple of them in this. So she can be sitting upright. And then we'll go put the burner on and we're almost there. Almost there. What are we doing? Why are... It's the thing. There's one. All right, where's my other screw holes? This has proven to be difficult for me in the past also. Finding where the screw holes are and then getting them in there. That one's gotta be right there. Come on. Well, this one has to go through two panels. through one, but I can't find the hole on the other side. Come on. Wow. Really? There it is. Got it. Got it. Don't worry, people. She's done got got. Done got got. Oh. <sighs> Squatting in this position for a long period of time is no bueno. Well, that one took a little extra beef because it was the wrong screw. That's why. Don't tell nobody. All right, and that heat exchanger, she ain't going nowhere. <sighs> but I still want to try to get one more screw in it. I don't know. Did I just say heat exchanger ain't going nowhere? I meant the inducer. So, I didn't replace the gasket because it's perfectly, it's, it's literally perfect. So, uh, anything that I can do to keep from getting gasket material, you know, the fiberglass, all up on my arms and my fingers and my face, I'm going to do that. So close. There, that one's in. Now the other side. Go down. There it is. And the burner is in place. Okay, uh, basically the heat exchanger is done. Now I'm not counting time right now because I know I'm not gonna make my 45, but I definitely will be hitting the hour mark. Um, whew. So what I'm gonna do next is the safeties. That's right. There's one right here. It's the rollout switch. What does the rollout switch do? It will cut the unit off if the flame rolls back into this compartment right here. It's a safety. Where'd it go? There's a rollout switch. And I cannot reiterate enough. Change your safeties, people. There's no, no reason not to. If the customer specifically says, I do not want you to touch my safety switches. Okay, well that would be the only reason. Uh, if they say that, they're kind of, you know, probably not all there anyway, you know? Unless y'all are overcharging for them. If you're charging like $200, 
to replace a roll-out switch, well, you're wrong. So, don't be that guy. It takes one minute worth of work, and that part is dirt cheap. There's no reason. There's that one. Now we got the high limit. Oh, the knees. Yep. Yep, that's the knees. That's what happens when you sport for too long. High limits right here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Probably gonna feed some more wire into this thing. She is tight. There we go. Make it a little more looser. limit switch measures the temperature inside the burner compartment the heat exchanger where the heat exchanger is and if it gets too hot it will kill the unit good thing to have just so you know you don't have a fire going all crazy on you if the thing malfunctions a lot of times when you have a bad heat exchanger it will cause the rollout switch to trip. Because if you don't have the right airflow through your heat exchanger, then the flame does not go the correct direction. And there's that. Uh, everything's done, except putting it back together, putting that panel on. All the panels just need to go back on. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump it out. We're gonna test it in heat. We're gonna burn off this heat exchanger. Um, I will put something over that supply so that we don't smoke the people out inside. You know, try to be nice or whatever. Whatever. We'll cover the supply up just like that. Turn it on. Turn and burn, people. Turn and burn. So this is also a good test make sure everything's flowing right everything is working right gas is on everything's on so i guess we might need to make sure i'm getting power well there's one way to find out if we're getting power oh there's no power <laughs> that's great isn't that great? Wonder if one of those is busted open. Let's see here. Use Calvin's fluco meter. He got the cheap one. It's okay. Still works. I like the flukes. Anyhow. And uh, basically, I can't. I, I can't gain access into this place. So. They're just going to have to get smoky, you know? Whenever it comes time to run the heat. Yeah, there's no power. She is dead. Probably tripped at the breaker. Don't know. Not my problem today. My, my job was to replace the heat exchanger. I did it. It's currently 1510. So I did it in less than an hour. If you don't count putting the panels on, all right? So that would be an hour, would be in nine minutes from now. I know I can do it in nine minutes, putting the panels on. Let's not go there, okay? Um, so, let me get my jumper back. We're done. I'm not gonna have y'all watch me zipping all these screws back in and put the panels on. So, that's good for the day, you know? Got some other people over there, another company. So, I'm gonna do the whole roof walk, so. They don't get all booty hurt. There's a cancer maker right there. We are in, uh, I think I already said at the beginning of the video, Irving, Texas. Let's go check out on Calvin. See how Calvin's doing. There's pretty drain line right there. I'm just kidding. This is one that hadn't been fixed yet. So look, this is what I was talking about. 
there's literally a hole drilled in there. So I don't know why, I have never seen that before, but I know that there was one drain that was bad and broken. And I think that's the one he's working on right now. Is this the one that was broken really bad? Yeah. Look, who does that? Who just drills holes in the thing? I, I don't understand. And you could tell they're screws because I can see the threads. So someone used a self-tapper and just stuck a bunch of holes in the dang thing. Now, a lot of these are broken on the bottom of the trap and that happens whenever it freezes. Water in the bottom trap can't go anywhere, so ice expands whenever it freezes. Water expands when it freezes and turns into ice. And it, that's why your pipes bust in the house if you don't leave the dang faucet dripping. Anyway, I got nothing else for you. All right. She's pretty. She's going to run as soon as somebody can figure out why I'm not supposed to do anything else here. Otherwise, I would figure, you know, the deal out. But that's okay. We're going to leave it like it is. Got a couple extra pulleys for, you know, future use. Future use there. I don't know what's going on. Probably got burned up compressors. Got me. Until next time, people. Deuces.